Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vithleahane and welcome to Joker vs Sweetie with DC vs Twisted Metal Death Battle. I actually don't know who Sweet Tooth is, um, I know of course about the Joker, I did not actually look too much into the Joker though, I only know him by first of all reputation of course, and second of all, some games here and there like the Arkham games and whatnot, and um, yeah the other one I have no idea who the heck he is, obviously he's some kind of clown, some kind of villain probably or poor monster, I have no idea, but whatever it is, I want to see this one, so let's go and watch. That was very loud. <laughs> All right, death battle. They visit you for birthday parties, cheer you up when you're sad, and probably also want to kill you. <laughs> ah, yeah, so many murder cl like clown stories. So many of them, and I actually kind of love them because actually I'm not one of the people that fear clowns per se, but uh, I don't know. I feel like there's something really cool about killers that are not just you know, plain, normal people looking. Some people find that creepier, you know, oh, just it's just a normal guy, so that's creepier because it could be any one of us. He could be right next to you in the bus and you don't know. People think stuff like that, but I'm like, you know what? He's not gonna kill you in the bus. Like, that's not scary to me. What's scary to me is something that's really scary, like something that stands out and, you know, is different and you don't fully comprehend. Clowns. The Joker, Gotham's jester of genocide. And Sweet Tooth, the violent victor of twisted metal. Okay, whatever the heck is happening with this one, that's kind of cool. He's literally on fire. That's what happens when you do too much homework. Your head lit on fire. He's and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, first of all, I feel like if it was nothing but a melee with no, like with literally no weapons, nothing, no, like nothing you can use, only face fight. Sweet dude from what I've seen already would probably win. He's buff, he's big, while Joker is, you know, scrawny and small. So it's probably gonna come down to, you know, oh, I really hope they don't do something like, uh, you know, like, oh, the Joker in the comics is Superman level or something like that. I actually, <laughs> That would be weird, with, because every iteration I know of the Joker, every single one I personally know, he's just a, a technically a normal guy that's crazy with all kinds of smart, you know, contraptions and jokes and traps and tricks and stuff. I really hope it's not something where he's like over the top crazy and something like that in the comics. Gotham Police! City, a vile breeding ground for criminals and crazy people. In such a bleak city, it's important to look for humor wherever you can, even if it's during the act of murder. And no Oh yes, it's so funny to see somebody die. Haha, <laughs> look at all that blood leaving you, just like your ex-wife. Ha 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 ha. gets more jollies out of ruthless felonies than the Joker. I'm here, bitches! I did not expect to hear the Joker say that word. And I brought favors for everybody! Is it just me? Okay, let's hear me out here. Is it just me that feels like whenever a villain doesn't swear, they feel more composed and scary than when they just swear a lot? I feel like whenever they swear a lot, they are less scary to me. Because that's kind of just cringed me <laughs> when they just keep but swearing. Before he became the clown prince of crime, who was he? A thief who accidentally got his pregnant wife killed? A mob boss who stabbed Batman's girlfriend? A petty thug in the wrong place at the wrong time? Nobody knows. Actually, oh yeah, the Red Hood thing. I forgot about that. That he was base. He was that thing before at some point. Like what the heck? Knows for sure. Not even the Joker himself. What we do know is that most likely at some point he fell into a vat of mysterious chemicals and Batman was involved. However he came to be, from that moment on his body and mind were altered forever. Wait, is that his, like, the, the, like the most canon story? The one, like, he fell into a vat of chemicals and he, that basically made him go crazy and stuff? With a new smile big enough to rival the Grinch, the Joker decided he'd make sure the whole world would share in his sick joke. And what comedy act would be complete without a few wonderful toys? This guy may like his pistols, machine guns, and explosives, but outside of that, his taste in weaponry is anything but simple. No! <laughs> oh, my eye! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is clever. That is that was actually clever. Like a true prankster gone mad, he carries razor sharp playing cards, a gag flower filled with acid. Did he just stab Batman with literal cards? They're gone mad. 
Actually, that's the thing. Did you know that even in real life, uh, like playing cards can actually do a lot of damage if you actually know how to throw them pro like properly? There are some videos on YouTube with, with people like throwing them in specific ways that makes them literally cut like a damn knife. And he carries razor sharp playing cards. Or like a razor, I guess, maybe more like accurately, yeah. A gag flower filled with acid. An electric hand buzzer that goes a little too far. But deadliest and most haunting of all is his trademark Joker Venom. A uh, I... Damn, it took me so long to remember. The, 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 the damn thing from the, the, the Arkham the Asylum game that you know it also i think it also made an appearance in the telltale game i think like uh yeah it's it's a big scary gas yeah deadly concoction which poisons its victims forcing them into fits of laughter so uncontrollable that they suffocate and die while contorting their facial muscles into a nightmarish grin damn look at that <laughs> damn like laughing to the point where you're crying but you're still laughing so you just look like you're yeah, that's a uh, wow. Talk about killing the audience! <laughs> oh. Man, that shit looks dangerous to carry around. Fortunately for the creepy clown, it's just Joker's farts. He just stores his farts into something, and he just releases them upon the world. The, those chemicals did a really number, like a real big. They, they, yeah, they did a number on him. Now even his farts are radioactive. Now, he's manufactured so much Joker venom over the years, repeated exposure has given him immunity to his own toxin. Oh, he can actually, wow. But the laughing gas isn't all that makes him a threat in battle. Uh, what are they, let me, let me try to predict what they're gonna say. It is, it is un, unpredict, how do you say the word? It's how unpredictable he is. I'm just gonna say it like that, because they don't know the actual word for, you know, the thing. But yeah, how unpredictable he is, you're gonna say. Ah, it's... It's gone. He's a cunning strategist who screws with the minds of the sane and insane alike. Oh. Oh, oh no, no, not what I thought. He can whip up disguises so convincing that not even the world's greatest detective recognized him. And for a guy this lanky, he's also surprisingly great going fist to fist. And like... Oh, he is? Most heroes and villains who have been in the game since the 1940s, of course, he has his own car. <laughs> what, the Joker mobile? What is that? Look at that thing! God, I really need to get back to the joke on, the joke on wheels. Work on the boomstick mobile. <laughs> boomstick mobile, wait, what was that? It's a giant hot dog, really. I thought for sure it was gonna be a beer, like a giant beer bottle. Stick mobile. The Joker mobile, as it's called, was. I ate the Pierce. I forgot about the Arkham Knight thing. I forgot about that. Damn, Built I forgot about that. A legendary Batmobile. It has mounted machine guns, a bulletproof exterior, and a lethal cannon. Of the Killing Joke. Isn't that the series as well? Like, a, like a comic series or something? Top that can spew missiles everywhere. After so many years of terrorizing Gotham and beyond, the Joker has more than earned his role of sworn enemy to the Batman. Despite Batman's ludicrous skill and intellect, the Joker I mean, aren't there, <coughs> aren't there like, you know, stories with Batman where he actually is like attached to the Joker in a way like, where he like, you know, even though he keeps killing people and hurting people and stuff like that, Batman, you know, enjoys the, the struggle against the Joker and fighting with him. Aren't there some stories like that? Joker's forethought and planning has outsmarted Bats numerous times. In some cases, he's even gone hand to hand and held his own with the Cape Crusader. Who was trained by ninjas? That looked like uh one of the fighting games, you know, the uh, Injustice, I think it was called, which would be crazy if we account for that game, because, you know, that's kind of over the top crazy in the first place, right? He's outfoxed plenty of other heroes, too, including Superman, whose brain can function what? thousands of times faster than humans like Joker. I mean, it seems that he was... Kryptonite, though. He incapacitated Wonder Woman with just a puff of Joker venom. Blew up Robin after viciously beating him with a crowbar. Uh, I mean, that's kind of impressive, you know, because Robin was trained by Batman, so he is pretty strong. And when he tracked down Batgirl. Oh, yeah, we know what will have. Uh, yeah. Well, let's 
put it nicely, and say that she became handy capable from that point on. No. <laughs> handy capable? I've never heard that before. I've never heard that before. Damn, that's clever. I didn't. <laughs> to his own insanity, the Joker has stupidly high pain tolerance. The dude got a battering lodged in his eye. When you are so crazy like him, of course you would not really even care too much about pain anymore, right? And was still running around laughing and shooting people. God damn. That's almost as bad as the time he had his own face cut off for giggles. That's way worse. <laughs> oh, you don't say. Ugh. He can <laughs> certainly take the pain, but this sadistic psychopath is still no harder to kill than most of his victims. Yeah, so even though he does damage and takes damage and stuff, he still suffers from that damage. He can die by blood loss and stuff and infection and stuff, right? He can die from certain poisons, neck snapping, being stabbed by pirate Batman, getting bitten by vampire There's a pirate Batman? There's a vampire Batman? What? Batman, and even just a good old fashioned Superman high five. But one f What was that face? Wait a second. Look at that. <laughs> that's the, that's the, you know, that's the ideal reaction face you want to make whenever any, literally anything happens. <laughs> but one thing remains certain. Having this clown show up for your party would make it one bad day. Bad day? It would make it one damn crazy day. Which would be interesting, right? Okay, let's see. Let's see. What is this other one? What's this story? How far would you go to have your greatest wish granted? How much would you destroy to get your way? Uh, literally anything but innocent people. Extreme! But probably a lot otherwise. Like anything else? Yes, I'm gonna. Uh, if it's not people, I would destroy entire cities to, you know, I don't care about property, only lives. So I would. Yeah. For the yeah. Those willing to go to any extreme, the annual Twisted Metal contest is right up your alley. Of course, I need to get powers to be able to help people, of course. In Twisted Metal, competitors smash vehicles into public property and each other. And that's when they're not shooting crazy shit like rockets and bombs all over the place. Oh. God, that'd be fun. The insane <laughs> lure of Twisted Metal attracts some of the most deranged and unstable minds in the world. Including a clown with a flaming scalp. The driver of the infamous ice cream truck called Sweet Tooth. <laughs> I mean, what is this guy? He, he, he's like, is he like Ghost Rider or something? Or what's happening here? Light him up, boys. It's like a Ghost Rider. He's just on fire. His head is just on fire. I mean, he, the rest of him is still normal, though, which is weird. But, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Before he was a scary serial killer driving a truck, Marcus Kane was a scary ice cream man driving a truck. And like every ice cream man I know, Marcus oh. had a serious evil split personality problem. Okay, that looks really creepy. Wait, let me go back for like 15 seconds. I'm kidding, okay, not that much, but... Uh, oh, yeah, like this part, look at that, oh. Driving a I mean, he just looks like a normal guy. And like every... Yeah, this part, this, this part, ooh. The ice cream man I know, Marcus had a serious... Did you say like every ice cream man you know? I don't even know any ice cream man, but... You know what? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to know any. Yet. Maybe, uh, maybe now I should not know any. Yet. Like, yeah. His evil split personality problem. Trapped within his head, this sinister side desperately clawed for freedom, eventually forcing Marcus to finally give in and carve his new persona a face. On that day, Marcus Kane died, and the rampage of Needles Kane began. Needles spent his days murdering anyone he could find, including his own wife and child. He prefers killing up close and as violently as possible with his giant serrated machete. A serrated machete? Well, look at that. I mean, that would be brutal and inefficient, but brutal. Because, because it's inefficient, it would be very brutal. Which, you know, makes sense. Also, killing his own family on top of everything, you would think there, there would be at least a bit of, you know, the old him left in there to stop at least that, but no, he's really gone. Which tons of people have been introduced to? They're dead now. By his own. Oh, you don't say. Account. He's. That was certainly very, yeah, unexpected. Of course, totally. Slaughtered a thousand people before. Am I hearing something? Oh, it's just my mom talking with the cat. Okay. Before he was finally arrested, it was here he was cursed by a preacher named Preacher to suffer. <laughs> preacher. <laughs> the fires of hell. 
which apparently means having your head burst into flames forever. Enraged, he busted out and was eventually found by a man named Calypso. Wait, does he actually feel... Is that like a punishment where he like feels pain all the time from the fire or something? See, Calypso was the one organizing the Twisted Metal Tournament and he thought Needles would be just perfect for it. For Needles, winning Twisted Metal meant having any wish of his choosing granted. He could finally end the everlasting pain. Or have all the candy in the world, anything really. How could he say no? Needles knew... So he does want the pain to be gone. Just the car that would take him to victory. Complete with tasty treats, his ice cream truck, the Sweet Tooth. So it's just a normal white and pink, you know, ice cream truck with weapons and stuff. What the heck? This modified Chevrolet step van is any stuff for children, huh? Anything but what it appears to be. With its shocking maneuverability and durability, Sweet Tooth is like a tank capable of taking loads of damage without stopping. The Sweet Tooth menu includes front-mounted spikes, Gatling guns, and homing ice cream cone missiles. And for the cherry on top, huh? he blasts the explosive clown head from the roof as a homing weapon, which laughs and goes through walls. That's not... <laughs> what the... <laughs> it defies the loss of reality. Enough, it transforms into a goddamn... What the heck? It's a robot! Robot! The sweet bot carries a massive multi-barrel Gatling gun. Okay, that head is goofy as heck though. Okay, he looks a bit better here, but in the last one, that looked goofy as heck. Yeah, this one looks goofy as heck here. Barrel Gatling gun. Rein this one looks, yeah, this one looks more, you know, more fit, a bit more fitting. Forced armor plating, and can even throw its own head like a grenade. But the real beauty's in the sweet slam. What even is this game? I never, I've never seen this before, but there's, this looks kind of fun and cool. An attack where the bot launches into the air with its jetpack and drops like a hammer with enough force to crush a whole building. Sweet Tooth can take dozens of missiles and keep on trucking, but even without his wheel, he's fat. Needles is one tough son of a. But he has muscle. He's like, he has a lot of muscle, but he's so fat somehow. Bitch, he's strong enough to. Ca I know there can be people that you know have you know fat and muscle but i thought it at least shapes the you know the fat to look at you know more muscly you know just you're like you're bulky but you are muscly right but he has just a normal like a trucker belly with actual arm muscle that looks like a weightlifter actually shatter reinforced windows tough enough to take a stab to the face and he even survived the electric chair doesn't that mean he gets to walk free i read that on the internet once no. <laughs> First, that's a myth. Second, a person wouldn't be able to walk after getting blasted with over 2,000 volts of electricity. Uh, isn't there one guy, like one single guy in, like, in real life that actually survived the electric chair once? Am I tripping or is there one? I think there is one, right? I don't know. You, you can look it up. Stopping their heart, burning their body, paralyzing their muscles, and melting their eyes. Unless your needles came, who broke out of the chair, killed everyone, and escaped. See, this is why anytime I meet a clown, I take him out right away. When is a What? <laughs> you do what? You take them out on a date? The clown ever done anything to you? They've never had the chance. <laughs> 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 Who's laughing now, Juggle? <laughs> Needles is by no means unkillable, and Calypso has played him for a fool more times than not. Like when he wished to find his missing daughter so he could kill her, and wound up trapped and suffocating in her coffin underground wow because she was already dead still it just goes to show needles and his sweet tooth will do anything it takes to get the kill what what are, what are you done with my son oh what have you done with my son what i'm about to do to you exactly you want to see is he scooping his eyeballs out Fucking clowns! <laughs> you know, you can imagine they like, cutting somebody's the like, top of the head off and then just eating their brain like with with you know with a scoop like I like ice cream scoop. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, all do we right, have a sponsor? Are set. Let's end no? this debate once and for all. But first Oh there we go. Okay. Oh wow, okay, this image looks awesome. I can I know what I'm gonna use for thumbnail now. <laughs> Time for some book learning. No, yet no. No, no. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. Oh, and then Wait, no, no, I need to hear the thing. Wait. Death battle! Death battle! Oh, <laughs> no books. No, never. Never. 
All right, here it goes. We'll look hmm. at the, oh. I like the model, but not really my color. Nah, the Batmobile. Now we have the Dark Knight Joker mobile. What that mouth doing? Look at that. It has a mouth. <laughs> it's like an animal now. Does it's it actually like? Perfect. Does it actually like ice cream? Is that like an actual thing? <laughs> well, that's enough. You know, that's enough reason to kill anybody. <laughs> It's not even like you know. The, the, uh, there's so many death battles where I feel like, oh, the you know the premises is so it, it, like nonsensical. It doesn't make any sense. It just happens. It just to happen. You know, this one actually makes the most sense. Yeah, I would want to kill him too. <laughs> Ooh, like taking candy from a baby. If the baby was a very fat and flaming trucker. Who's also who's also clowning wants to kill him now. Oh, I mean, oh, 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 so many buttons. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mao, kill. <laughs> I really thought he was going to say something like eeny, meeny, miny, kill, but no, all of them. <laughs> this reminds me of, um, Megas XLR, if you've seen that. Hmm, what's this one do? Oh, speed! He's got the need for speed. DBX, what the? What are you doing here, buddy? Huh? Oh! Wait, I thought that car can take a lot more punishment than that. Also, why is there a bikini lady like here and in the last like scene as well? <laughs> Jokes on you, yeah. Joker! Can't just <laughs> let a guy have his fun. What is that? Wait, what does that say? Wait. Okay, then. What is that? Sweet. Oh, I thought it said shit. I really, like, eight. I mean, a, the, the, S H E E T uh, for some reason. Because, like, when it was blurred, it looked kind of weird. Oh, it's, it, it's kind of obvious now, but you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, you know, shit. Not as in shit, but you know, shit. Okay, that sounds weird. I feel like my accent is making this weird. But you know, like a sheet of paper. Okay, that. Uh, why is my accent weird? Okay, okay. Let's go. Here I come, scrawny. He's scrawny. All right, let's see it. Come and get it, tough guy. Yeah. You miserable excuse for a clown. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what it comes down to. <laughs> Who's the best clown around? Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, wow, that was cool. That was actually cool. That was actually. Joker, what? Since when are you so damn cool? Excuse me, I want to drive! <laughs> no. I was, I'm surprised that nobody's trying to stab each other yet. Put that out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and bleed, you mother. <laughs> okay, Joker is definitely the crazier one. I did not even like think that you know that the, uh, that was gonna be the case by what I've seen like before, but he is. He's actually the way crazier one, and I respect that more. I think he's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't take a trouble. <laughs> can you, big guy? 
Okay, what do we do? Actually, that I do not even... Yeah, I do not consider this. What do we do against a giant robot, actually? Okay. That's... funny. <laughs> oh? Is he not dead from that? Oh, he is dying. <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind. I, I really did not take it into, like, into account the robot at all. I completely forgot about that for a second. Let's let's talk about this. Killing someone from inside a, a tin can. That's no fun. The oh, it's actually gonna come out. Of their skin, the blankness of their eyes, the reveal of who they really are. <laughs> it's so much better when you. Savor all the little emotions. You know what? I, I agree. He has a good point there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they of course was gonna go for it. Of course. After that, of course he would do it. Right. So never mind. I might still be right. The Joker seems to be up to something. This guy actually fell for his little trick. If he just finished him off right there with a the, with the mech, it, he might have like won. I feel like he definitely would have won actually but now now joker has a good chance oh boy right i want to see you bleed i want to watch you die just no creepy more lesson capiche the best kind of punchline <laughs> it's the one you don't see coming <laughs> <laughs> of course what it was that. This? Of course that, of course. Die, 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 die. <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> awesome. And he won, of course. I called it. Oh, come on. It wasn't that funny. It was. It was. It was very funny. You know what? <laughs> I'm happy with the way this went. Of course, he, the, he had to make it cool and awesome there at the end. You know what? I, as much as Joker is villain, he has his moments, damn. Both clowns were skilled in combat, but Joker's superior tactics and unpredictable weaponry gave him the leg up he needed. I feel like it's Joker's unpredictable... I still don't know the word. You know how unpredictable he is in general, not only his weapon. When you have a toxic gas so deadly it can take out the entire Justice League, all the Joker needed was one opportunity to use it. And despite his lanky frame, the Joker can take a lot of punishment. And he's good enough to survive hand-to-hand -hand combat with Batman. Hell, he's smart enough to trick Batman and even manipulate the incorruptible Superman into being pawns in his schemes. As opposed to Needles, whose mental capacity is limited to just one thing. Murder, murder, and more murder with a dash of ice cream. The Joker <laughs> has plenty of experience manipulating the minds of homicidal maniacs. In fact, many people like Needles have wound up in Joker's gang. It was only a matter of time before he made his opportunity to use the Joker Venom. Joker wasn't clowning. What the heck was that? Wait. of time before he made his opportunity to use. What is that creature? The, that's like the you know the cat's movie thing. What uh, what am I looking at? What is that creature? What is that creature? What is happening here? The Joker Venom. <laughs> Joker wasn't clowning around in this gas of a fight that had us on pins and needles. We should really put you on a limit. Oh, come on. I thought he was gonna say put you on a leash. Wiz, those puns were sweet. <laughs> the winner is the Joker. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> He won. Well, he did that it. Fun. Why is there so much more left? Next time oh, I... on Death Bat. It's been so long since I like you know seen a Death Bat. I mean, not it's not been that long actually, but you know I've been, I did not see many. It, it it's been like very few in a very long time. So uh, yeah, I forgot it's even the next time Hello. thing. We dreamed of creating the world's strongest. Pokemon. Oh, what is this one? What? And we succeed. Muto or whatever the name is, I forgot. 
Do not attempt to defy me. Uh, I I do not know any of about like anything about this one. That like just the, the, the name. I think I'm not sure if I'm correct even about that even. It looks strong. Oh, it is Mewtwo. Okay. Or is it Mewtwo? I thought it's Mewtwo, but it, I think it's Mewtwo, actually. Mewtwo. What about, Mew what about Mew3? And, and next up in death battle is Mew... Yes, is that the end? Mewtwo! Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's Mewtwo. It's Mewtwo. I was. It was the death. Who will he be fighting? You guys know the drill by now. Find out early by sticking to our social media. That's at Screw Attack on Twitter or official essay on Facebook. I mean, it's already out at this point. So yeah, we are dead. That's it. We are done. So, ah, oh, great one. I. It's the, like the ones with people that are like unpredictable and weird. They don't just you know fight outright. I mean, even those are fun. But these ones always you know keep you more on edge about what's gonna happen next. So yeah. I really, I really, <laughs> I really like seeing this kind of, you know, people fight and their tactics and their schemes and their everything. So I enjoyed it a lot. So thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching it, punch that like button with everything you have and have a great day or night. But for now, farewell and bye-bye. Uh,